Hi guys, welcome to 100 days to cat program. This is the right time when you should become serious about your cat studies because now the real countdown starts from where we are right now to where we want to go. Right. So be with me for the next few minutes. I'll give the complete overview about what to expect in the last 100 days and how to uh, prepare. That's the main thing. So let let's first look look at the scenario. How the scene look like today? Right now we are sitting on uh, August. So we got August, September, October, November, November end. We got the CAT exam. Then December, Jan, Feb, March for the non-CAT exams. So exam point of view, we have the picture almost clear that CAT is on November end. Before that, we have IFT, Narsi Monji, NMAT. Then December SNAP, January ZAT, and February MICA. Or CET, which exam you are taking? So you let's take it for uh, this thing. Like every month, we got one exam from November onwards, from October end onwards. Fine. So we got exactly hundred days remaining for your exam. So we got a few days left in August, September, October, November. That's what the planning looks like. Fine. Now there are two ways to prepare for the exams. So there are two kind of students. One who have already started the preparation long back. They are already cat. Taken CAT earlier, they're starting for that. They're going for a CAT for a second time, and they are mostly done with all their basics. Second kind of students who are just started up, who are just trying to pick up the pace, and started their studies. Fine. So I'll give you the overview of both the people. First thing is you are completing all your books and all your basics. So it will take you around two months' ka time to complete your basics if you are just starting off your CAT exam. If you already CAT ka repeat, then again I want you to revise your basics. So you have to complete your basics once in next two months, and we are going to revise the basic again in the last forty-five days. Fine, last forty-five days to thirty days. So let's take it this way that we have got exactly a uh, three months' ka time total. So till October end, we should be done with the basics thoroughly. And normal ka month, we are going to revise the ba ba basics once again. If you have done it earlier, no problem. You revise your basic as well. As well. See, when you open your books, you always find some new concept, new theories which are not checked out earlier. So please go through all your theories now. Fine. If you are attending the lectures, do taking some coaching, so all the lectures will be part of that. Fine. Same way, we do the basic first, then we do the advanced level. And last is your mocks. This is the right time to start giving a mock. I normally recommend one mock every week to start with. If you have already ninety five plus in last year CAT, you can go up to two mocks a week, but do not overdo mocks. Trust me, mock scores are not important right now. Even if you are scoring ninety five plus in your mocks, it's useless because most of the people have not yet started with their mocks. You are not getting the full feel of the exam because maximum janta have not yet started. Last two months, October, November is your right time to give the mocks. Fine. So we'll worry about your mock score for the last two months, not right now. Fine. So mock wise, it's all right. So books, lectures, mock. These are three things which is done by everyone, but that's not enough. You have to move to shortcuts. That's your main problem. That's your main agenda. Without shortcuts, it's very very difficult to crack CAT. You talk to any of your friends who have taken CAT last year. Fine. Main problem with CAT was speed. Fine. Your attempt this year have to be out of hundred, have to be eighty. That's your target. If you cannot touch eighty question, I'm sorry, cat will be very very difficult to crack. Very very di difficult to touch ninety nine percentile. So this is where we come into picture. I'm teaching for last five years. Over the last five years, I have innovated all the shortcuts for all the major topics. I don't use any formulas. I use the pure concepts to solve every question. So you can see a few demo videos and see if you can join any of our courses. So you can do that. Fine. Along with the shortcuts come your strategies as well. This is the right time you start focusing on your strategies and how to prepare and all. Fine. For example, what we are doing is like most of you who are working or college student, they are totally lost about their preparation because this is not your full time job. Your full time job is to study or to work. This is the number two job to prepare for CAT. So this is where we come into picture again. That I I give a weekly homework. Every Monday morning I'll give homework, and every Sunday evening we'll take a test. So that you get a complete week's time to prepare, prepare for those topics and take a test. Yeah, it's like let us control. Let me control your strategy part, and you work on your hard work. You are not worried about which book to study and how to study, what to study. Your tar target is to just to study. Yep, so that is something you can do as well. 
and last is the actual papers please download all last 20 of the actual papers because they are going to be very very important for your exams yep this is how you want to study so let's take take an overview so basically how we are going to plan how I want you to plan is if you are just starting off great then for the next two months August is almost over September October next two months let's complete all the basics and number I'm going to revise it all fine this is the ideal study last one month if you can take a break normal ka month if you can take a break from your office sit at home and go through a mock every day that's the ideal strategy you can do trust me fine so let's do phase one completing out everything and then phase two revising everything and daily mock after that we look at the non-cat exam snap and meds that they come afterward along with that you can also start with your gk preparation because this is very very important to start with gk why because after cat all exams are going to contain gk fine for example what i give very simple question a lot, lot of people are here who are very, very good with books read more books and novel how many of you know about the book called the blue umbrella blue umbrella Do you know it's an Indian book or for foreign book? Most people don't even know that. Fine. Now that's the problem with GK. GK is a vast area. There are too, too many things to be done. Fine. So what we have is a GK 40 in which we have divided GK into main, mainly 40 modules which are the most commonly repeated question in all the exams. For example, there will be one session out of 40 sessions on the Blue Umbrella. So Blue Umbrella is a book if you just google it out India's best book ever made this is one of the best book books ever made in India by Ruskin Bond fine similarly world over the best book in this world in the world is uh, Love and War by Tolstoy these are the typical questions which are that definitely going to come in JK because we don't we normally ignore them what today's generation normally know about is Chetan Bhagat or the 50 shades of grey. This is what we are working on. But these are the things which we are going to get in the you are going to get in the exams. Yep. Alright, so we are going to focus on non-cat exams, but right now the focus should be on cat. Let's not think about the other things for the time being. Let's purely focus on cat. That is number 29th. Alright. Alright, this is a very very important fact sheet which is in front of you. The most of the time people ask me what to study, how to study and they are totally lost about your uh, study preparation. This sheet is going to be very very handy for that. Fine, now what I want to do is I want you to pause the video and uh, work with me in what you know, what you don't know. Let's start the first part DI. DI is the most ignored area for the CAD exam and trust me there is now a dedicated cutoff for DI. So what I want to do is I want you to pick up your pen write down all the topics which are there in this list and circle them which you don't know for example if I'm starting my preparation I already know bar chart I know line graph I know long chart I don't know what the fill in the blanks kind of charts or tournament investment based DI so this is going to be my area of focus for the next one month fine so dirty quant all the dirty topics and there are going to be nine questions out of that inequality function the graph I don't know maximum minima, I don't know permutation combination probability and modulo. These are my weak areas. So I'm identifying my areas which I don't know. Fine, same from arithmetic, nine questions, geometry in eight eight questions, numbers, eight questions, and polynomial equations and polynomials, four questions. So what you want to do is I want you to pause the video and um, write down all these topics and try to solve them. Yep, try to identify what things you know, what you don't know. That's not your weak area, trust me right now. You think it's a weak area. It will become your weak area if you are still not able to score. Yeah, after we have tried. Same from the verbal point of view. Logical reasoning, all these are typical questions, two domain based question, investment based question, matrix. There are going to be 16 questions out of this. Investment, tournament, investment, matrix are the three main areas which people normally ignore. FIJ, truth liar, deduction, you can ignore, chalega, no problem. Even without them, you can score more marks. If you can do them, that's great. Otherwise, you can ignore them. But the CAT, 90%, 99% times, you're only going to get analytical puzzles in your CAT exam. So other things are not very, very important. All this topic combined, might you might get one question. Fine, RC. 
इन्फ्लुएंस बेस्ड आर सी टॉपिक वेज मेन आइडिया पर्पज ऑल द इन्फ्लुएंस बेस्ड आर सी क्वेश्चन आर देर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दे माइट बी सम फैक्ट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन पैराग्राफ बेस्ड क्वेश्चन पैरा जम्बल पैरा कम्पटिशन को हैंड पैसेज क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग सेंटिंग द आर्ग्यूमेंट वीकिंग द आर्ग्यूमेंट इन सेंस ऑफ द पैसेज यूजेज करेक्शन ग्रामर एंड वो कैब वन क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन ईच क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग एट क्वेश्चन पैराग्राफ बेस्ड एज क्वेश्चन आर सी सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन लॉजिक सिक्सटीन so that's your complete overall breakup in what you have fine in di section and logic section combine out of 34 questions 32 questions your target have to be 24 in quant section out of 34 question your target have to be 27 same in verbal topic out of 34 your target have to be 27 question attempt your overall attempt should be out of 180 attempt with a good good accuracy of 90 percent you should get 99 plus percentile from marks point of view out of 300 marks paper your target should be 200 plus that's your target score and you are in line for 99 percentile when all this analysis is on the basis of last five year paper or what is happening for last five years yep and trust me once you are done with this thing then you don't need to ask anyone what to prepare you know these are the topics coming part you know these are topics which you don't know which you need to work on for example within geometry everyone knows angle triangles trust me and most of people are ignoring trigonometry and coordinate geometry if i tell you every year there is one question on trigonometry or coordinate geometry in your cat exam so can you ignore that no so let's go through all of them yes yeah, that's your scope that's your syllabus for the next one year Fine. If you are unable to see this thing, I am going to upload this file on my page as well. So please download it from Facebook dot com slash Ravgun R A V G U N R A V G U N. I am just going to upload this on my page, so you can download this copy. All right. All right. So this is something we want to talk about as well. This year from C T King, we have got Cat Rank One, Z Rank One, C T Rank One, N M A T Rank One. All of them are from C taking uh, two students. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is Neha Mangalik was a final year student. Tried along with the college, she got through CAT. Fine. She is in I M Ahmedabad at the age of 22. Priyank Shedha took two years to crack CAT. Fine. He tried early last year. He could not score very good marks, but tried again. But this time he could not go through CAT, but got through C T. Right now he got a summer internship in McKinsey. Fine. Where the salary is around thirty-seven lakhs, so it might take couple of years as well. So you should be open with the idea that it might take one year or two years to get into top top B schools. So you have to decide whether you can compromise, get admission into this year in if not band A or band B college, or you try again next year as well. So that you have to decide that. If you plan to join our program, so we have five programs for you. You can see the details on courses. dot c t king. dot com or directly go to c t king. dot com then online courses. We have G hundred program which includes the books, mocks, shortcuts, and everything. We have G hundred program without books if you already joined other coaching classes but want to join us for the mocks and shortcuts. You can join us for the shortcut workshops only, or shortcut workshop all the exams or shortcut workshop for CAT and mocks mock mock series. So these are five programs available with c t king which you can join. All right. So to join our program, you can call us on nine five nine triple four one double four eight. So please give us a call nine five nine triple four one double four eight. So that if you can any kind of a doubts, we can take it up on board. All right, all the best. Thank you.